Hey, Phantomaniacs, happy birthday to me. And to celebrate, I am going to open one of my Holy Grail toys here on the Needless Things Podcast YouTube channel. If you'd like to help out my birthday cause, uh, just hit that subscribe button and share this video. And uh, you may recognize this white mailer box right here as a Masters of the Universe Classics mailer. This is a figure I have been hunting for for years, since before the end of the Masters of the Universe Classics line. And I finally pulled the trigger, and I have it. And now for the big reveal, what figure are we opening up today? What is this magical birthday unboxing? What is this grail figure that is now in my collection? Ladies and gentlemen, Wondar, the legendary Wonder Bread He-Man. Now, this is obviously not the original Wondar, which, quite frankly, I still am not sure even is a real thing that exists. But if you don't know the story, Wondar was supposedly a mail-away figure that you got from Wonder Bread. Uh, it was a He-Man with a repaint of brown hair, darker trunks, uh, and, and I believe he was supposed to come with a loaf of bread. And since Scott Knightlick is one of the most visionary geniuses in the history of toys, he decided, well, we're going to do a Wondar figure, and it's going to be a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive, and it came out right before I went all in on the Masters of the Universe Classics line. So I finally now have Wondar. Uh, I got a fair price, but it was a lot of money for an action figure. That's all I'll say about that. Uh, these mailer boxes bring, you know, it's funny, it's only a few years ago that this line ended, but there's still so much nostalgia for this great grayscale logo, for getting these in the mail from Maddie Collector eventually. And uh, it's just really cool to have one here now, and I'm going to open it up live, well, not live, but recorded on YouTube in front of you guys. Now, I did not use my trusty 1964 box cutter because as soon as this arrived, I had to open it and make sure what was in there was what was supposed to be in there. And fortunately for me, oh, it sure was. I'm going to toss that mailer box to the side and take a look at Wondar. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe that this guy is in my hands and finally is going to go on my shelf to almost complete, look at that, Wondar the Savage He-Man. Uh, almost complete my Classics collection. There's still a couple of figures I need, but nothing that I wanted quite as badly as this guy right here. Let's take a look at this file card. All of these were written personally by Scott Knight, like the toy guru. Let's take a look and see what he does with the history of this guy. Wondar, the savage He-Man. Real name, Wondar. 100 years before Prince Adam was born, Wondar, a warrior from deep in the savage underground city of Tondoria, rescued a young woman who turned out to be the goddess of Eternia. She provided him with cosmic battle armor and a sophisticated ray gun that could tap into almost unlimited power. The goddess tasked Wondar to protect both halves of the Sword of He and keep them apart, lest they fall into the hands of evil. Like many warriors before him, Wondar became known as the He-Man, battling in a savage way to keep evil from obtaining the key to the great power hidden inside the long-forgotten Castle Grayskull. Sorry, I got a little off-center there. I'm excited, you guys. We don't, we don't explain the bread loaf, but that's okay. So right now, here on the Needless Things YouTube channel, I'm going to open up this, this very expensive figure because you know how I do... I gotta let him breathe. Oh, look at that satisfying uh, crunch of the cardboard separating from the plastic. Get right on in there. Get a hand in there and just pull that open. Oh, man. I haven't opened up a Masters of the Universe classic figure in years, and it's a good, good feeling. All right, well, there we go. 
Still love this packaging design. Uh, they maintained it throughout the entire line. I, I think it's such a good look. The classic logo, uh, the gray skull uh, bricks, just great, great packaging that uh, goes in the trash. And then we have Wondar. Look at that guy. Just a repaint of He-Man with black boots, uh, brown furry briefs, black wrist armor, and then Zodax uh, chest armor and gun painted black. Let's take a look here and see what we got. Uh, our little rubber bands are all broken, which is kind of wild because obviously we just opened this guy up. We pulled him right off of that card back, so we know he's never been opened before. But those rubber bands just, I guess, deteriorated with time. Let's pop him out of that backer. Go in here and see what we're looking at with that sword. And of course, the mighty... Bread loaf. All right. Get out of here. Now, these figures look so good on a shelf together. Using the same base for so many of them, the same articulation design. It's really one of the best looking collections here in the Phantom Zone. Uh, the articulation is everything that you wanted it to be in the original He-Man line. Uh, it's not Marvel Legends, but it doesn't need to be because this guy is a big old muscle man. He just needs to be able to move enough to pound your face into the ground. I don't need a Masters of the Universe figure to be able to like squat and leap and cling to walls and things like that. I need him to be able to look like he's running at you, ready to stick this sword in your face. Uh, really, really nice sculpted detail here on his Zodak armor, or uh, Cosmic Enforcer, as the file said. Got, uh, I guess, these are, they look like bullets, but uh, they're probably some kind of energy capsules or something. I don't know. Uh, the W for Wondar, right? And we go back over here, and he's got some kind of, Oh my gosh, you guys, look at that. The Wonder Bread logo on the back of his backpack here in what was probably sort of a jetpack type thing on Zodak. But on Wondar, it's his Wonder Bread power. That's incredible. I didn't know about this detail when I got this figure. That's amazing. Uh, really cool blaster over here. Again, just repainted, but it looks nice. It's a little bendy there. Might have to hit that up with the heat gun, but that's okay. Uh, and it looks like there's actually a little bit of painted detail right there. Yeah, this is something that got lost later in the line. Uh, we stopped having the nice detail on the weapons, but right here you can see Wondar has got a nice little silver right there and right there. And then his signature sword of power with the, the metallic black hilt and the nice metallic sword. Black boots with the painted uh, sort of ties around them. Very nice detailing. Again, this is the kind of stuff when I, was, when I had original He-Man figures... I wanted these parts to be painted like this. And that's how you can look at this and tell a true fan put this line together because he made all of the stuff that we wanted from that original line. So now let's take a look. We've got uh, throughout the classics line, we, we got a lot of bent weapons, uh, but we had several different halves of the power sword that could all be put together. Uh, you can see this one is a male half. It's got the little pegs right there, so it can go into uh, any of the female halves and clip together. Again, we'll we'll need to use a heat gun on this thing if we want it to actually work in that way. But cool, very cool little throwback to the original He-Man line where the power swords were all half pieces. And then finally, let's take a look at this loaf of Wondar bread. Just... 
great sculpt looks like a barbarian's loaf of bread even got a little paint in here and the ridges where it's uh opened up uh, tremendous piece i love this loaf of bread more than you guys will ever understand so there you have it uh, I, I do wish there was somewhere to store one of his weapons so he could hold that loaf of bread but in all likelihood i will take this pistol and put it in a bag for storage and we'll take that loaf of bread and just slide it right under his arm there maybe and see if we can make that work and right there ladies and gentlemen wondar the savage he-man i love it i love it what a great great birthday gift for me uh you guys thanks for tuning in thanks for watching the unboxing of this really unique and wonderful action figure from one of the greatest action figure lines of all time. Uh, for more about Masters of the Universe Classics, please check out the Needless Things podcast, available wherever you get your podcasts, and uh, subscribe to the Needless Things YouTube channel. I have the bread!